Monkey boy, monkey boy. We have the Infernape V box. Uh, yeah, neat. We have Infernape Monkey Boy. I actually think this box looks really nice. I like the, like, this cutout going around. I'm trying to look at it through the camera lens, and it's kind of making it harder to point than it would be if I was just doing it. Yeah, I'm kind of dumb. Anyways, very nice looking box. But, as is my usual issue with boxes over tens, is that we only have four packs. Despite it being a much prettier display and being the thing that you would gravitate towards, it has less in it than most tins. Not all tins, some tins only have four. I, I, I know, I, I know. So we're throwing an extra pack in here with a very fitting score bunny. We're sticking with the fire theme here today. Actually, more than just the fire theme, it's a fire starter theme. But let's split open. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. go. All right, throw that box away. I'm never gonna look at you again. We're gonna open this thing up and we're just gonna go nice and boring style today. We're just gonna look at the extras and then we're gonna look at the packs and then we're gonna open the packs. Wow, okay, this was kind of like suction. Yeah, where I don't have like a play mat down, it like suctions itself to the table and it takes some pressure to lift it off. That's interesting. Get out of there. Stop holding my cards. I want to hold my cards. So it does come with a rather odd little bonus card in here. It is just a standard card from Brilliant Stars, but it has been all hollow-fied. We have our Hollow Empoleon. Yeah, it might not be worth a whole lot. We'll see. Uh, then we have our Infernape V. And look at them eyes, man. Look at them eyes. He looks kind of goofy and the light hits him, right? It looks like he's going like cross-eyed. Kind of kind of funny. Um, yeah, Infernape V. Nice looking little card. I'm not the biggest Infernape fan. He's fine. He is a Pokemon that exists. Um, then, of course, we have our code card for the whole box. But moving on past that, we do have a much bigger version of our monkey boy here. Is he supposed to be like a monkey or an ape? I don't know. I just always assumed monkey. Huh. I don't know. I'm not an animal expert, let alone a animal to Pokemon expert, all right? But cool. Nice looking big ol' boy. Ooh, let's see what little packies we have inside. We have a Lost Origin, a big fan of the set. Not quite a brilliant stars, but you know, it's, it's pretty up there. It's right next to it. We have a Fusion Strike. A second Lost Origin, and a Astral Radiance. Nice pack variety. Three chances for Trainer Gallery, if that's your thing like it is mine. And a Fusion Strike, amazing set. And of course, we just have our Lost Origin blister here. So we have three Lost Origin in total. Um, once again, like we did in a previous video, we're going to be starting off with this Fusion Strike pack. Um, so that way the rest of the packs that we do have a chance of having a Trainer Gallery card in there. It's a nice little bonus. Uh, so we're going to slide out our code card. Get a good look there. We do three to the front. Get rid of our energy. It's lightning. And we have the Zerud. Just come on. Come on. Show Zerud Sandstorm. Uh, we have Del Catty and the Dark Boy. Going on to our little knitted grubbin, our minky, caterpie, mudkip with some really weird cutting going on here. Let me set those cards there in frame and I'm going to zoom in real quick. Uh, yeah, pretty weird, weird kind of damaged cut going on there. It's it's like it ha they had to cut it twice. Do you see what I mean? It has like a weird lip going on and almost like it has some of the bottom of another card. Can't really tell too well from the back. Huh, interesting, interesting little cutting job there, Pokemon Company. Um, I do like my Mudkips to be as miscut as possible. We have a Gumi, a Hollow Victini. Not bad to get as a reverse. That's a very nice looking card for a reverse, I will say that. And on the end, we have a Latios. And I understand I, I worded that weird. I know it's a regular card, I just happen to pull it as a reverse. But, you know, I, I it's fine, it's fine, I like it. All I'm saying is that as a reverse, I, I, if if I was going to pull that card, I would much be much more happier if I pulled it as a reverse. Anyways, we have our Lost Origin pack here. Now let's move the microphone closer to my face, because I feel like it was far too far away. Um, 
pull that out, pull out our code card. Come on, show it, show it, show it, show it, show it, show it. There you go. All you, all you pokey freaks coming in here to steal my code cards. I know that I have some viewers, you know, people that do that. They just, you know, click, they, they like search like Pokemon opening it, sort by new and just farm code cards. We have a, wow, really nice. Do I, have I pulled that card before? Very nice looking Rhydon. I want a whole game in that art style. I almost was Legend, Legends Arceus had this art style. That is really cool. And like with the Switch being a lower powered system, like you could get away with the game not looking as nice by using a style like that. Because, you know, the, it's kind of like Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild looked amazing, not because of its graphical power, but just because of the art direction. That is nice. I really like that. Anyways, we have a Metatai eating some berries. We have the Shellos boys. Mindfu, Litleo, Ghastly. Riley, as a reverse. Hello there, Mr. Riley. And on the end, we have a Boofalint. That's the whole thing I wanted out of Lost Origin. I wanted a Boofalint. Boofalint is my favorite of the Pokemon. I mean, what, what's that one thing, you know, uh, people like to say is that every every Pokemon has someone. Uh, what is it, like every Pokemon has at least one person out there who considers it their favorite. So, hey, uh, dude who loves Boofalint, I'm sorry for making fun of you. All right, Boofalint's a fine Pokemon. <laughs> Yes, I am intentionally saying his name wrong. I don't need a hundred comments saying like, what the hell? It's not how his name. It's pronounced Boofint. Uh, Rowlet, Bronzor, Oshawott, Hoot 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 Cricket Tot. We have Mantine as our reverse. But on the end, come on, come on. We need something. We need something out of this box. We are halfway through. I mean, yeah, it's, it's something. It's something. It's a hollow. We have a Dancy. It's a little Dancy boy or girl. I'm assuming that you're female, right? Is that wrong of me? Am I not supposed to assume the gender of my Pokemon? Which, to be fair, I mean, like, we have that pink Shellus back there. Isn't isn't Shellus color just based on, like, what island it's born on, right? Like, what? Like, East, West or whatever? Or I don't remember. But, like, it's not pink because it's female. So, hey, maybe, maybe Dancy's... Uh, is is a boy and just happens to be pink. Anyways, we have one last pack from the box itself, and so far only one hollow. This box has not been the best. I was really excited for Monkey Box because it looked really cool. I think it's one of the better designed boxes I've seen in a little while. Some of them just come off as a little flat, which, you know, can be great in and of itself. Like, sometimes those are, you know, I, I don't think they've produced... To, you know, to my recent memory, an ugly box that I hated looking at, although the Galarian Rapidash was definitely not made for the male variety, uh, although I did still buy it and open it. Uh, we have a Nuzleaf. Still love that boy. He was one of my favorites as a kid. And now as an adult, like, Nuzleaf and Shiftry have to be in my top ten. Like, both of them. I, I just, I don't know, I love their designs. We have Snover Jinx. In K, I believe next is reverse slot, and it was not a reverse. I think I called it wrong. I, I do not believe that this is a reverse card. Um, Trainer Gallery 26 of 30. We have a another full art trainer. If you guys like full art trainers, go watch my last video. I did a Brilliant Stars Elite Trainer Box, another one, because I freaking love that set. And we got some good boys in there. And we're getting an... Oh, there's something. Oh, we're getting two pulls out of this one. All right, Mr. Kabu. What's behind you? What are you hiding? Ah, Garatina V. Okay, I'm cool with it. I'm, I'm fine with it. I know Garatina's like a big fan favorite. Um, I, It's fine. I've never been super into him, but he is very popular. So, cool to get him as a V, although I think I already have one or two of him. But that Kabu dough... That, that is cool. Yeah, that's an Ultra Ball, isn't it? A one sleeve. A two sleeve. A one hard sleeve. A two hard sleeve. A two sleeved cards. Yeah, uh, didn't even think about the fact that, you know, this is like a very, you know, fire gym boy, fire going on around him, very fitting for the Infernate box and our little blister I'm throwing in here. Oh, I also gotta love when, uh, you know, one pack manages to save a product. Like, we, we had duds, man. Like, yeah, we had a hollow. But, like, I could have gotten a hollow in every pack and still considered it a decent box. Or I could have gotten a standard, you know, low-value B and V in every pack and considered it a decent box. But that Kabu, by itself, that and the Garatina in one pack, like, that, 
that saved that product, that saved this video. Anyways, we have a EV. Oh look, it is me. I recently got a haircut and my beard has been growing. Yeah, I guess it's been a while since I showed my face on here so you guys can see me through an upside down EV. But anyways, uh, yeah, nice looking little, god, I, I'm tired of seeing my face in this thing as I'm talking. Can I light up my eyes? Yeah. Now I am the EV. Yeah, cool. Nice, nice little shiny, shiny EV coin here. Wow, very reflective. You can see my thingy. Then of course we have the code card for this little blister right here, which I believe means that in the game you will get this beautiful promo score bunny here with a, oh, I didn't even notice that. There's a Growlithe and, is that a, yeah, it's a Dedenny. A Growlithe and a Dedenny there in the back. Let me get a little zoom in on there. Yeah, that's some nice looking little artwork. I mean, it's no Sobble card, but I love me a Growlithe. So, huh, pretty nice. This looks almost like a McDonald's promo or something. I know that Score Bunny does have at least one McDonald's promo, but. Anyways, we have a Lost Origin pack to do. This is what's going to end this opening out. So I'm hoping for something good, all right? I don't need something Cabo level, although I would really appreciate it. I would just like something, something else, all right? We have to get at least, you know, two good packs, okay? I would prefer something above a hollow at the very least. There's the code card. We do three to the front, get rid of our psychic, I almost said fire energy. And we have the Viper. Yeah, that is like really creepy, like, I want to say feudal, but like just Japanese art. Uh, we have Galarian, Stunfisk, Bronzong, uh, Binacle, just never cared about you either. But again, the, the, you know, somebody out there loves it. Somebody out there that is, they love Binacle, it is their favorite Pokemon. We have Jinx, Finneon, we have the Shuppet, and on the very end, a Poliwrath. At least it is a very... Cool looking Polyrath. I don't think I have pulled that guy yet. I might have, but I really like that artwork. That's, that's nice. It's nice. I want him as a hollow. But now it is time for the bonus card of the day. This is a segment where I buy cards at local card stores most of the time, sometimes eBay. Uh, they all go into the sleeve where they are shuffled and I tend to forget what's even inside until I reveal it on this video well, on this channel. And today's bonus card of the day. Do we have any predictions? I am seeing a bit of whitening on the top left, a little bit there on the top right. Very minimal though, I will say. It's a little curved, I think. Yeah. So at least that might point out that it's like a full hollow. Like if it's kind of, you see that? It has like a bit of a, bit of a bend to it. You tend to get that on like reverses and stuff. Um, anyways, let's see what it is. Hey, that was an amazing call. It's not really a full hollow though. It's really, yeah, we have some at the top and at the bottom, but the actual card itself is not. So it, it is just the reverse. But what I meant was like covering the whole card. But hey, um, weird one for my collection, probably super low value. We have the special energy, plasma energy, my bad. Um, I just love those plasma stamped cards where it has that symbol like underneath the text on the Pokemon and I have, I have a decent collection of those. I, I tend to pick them up whenever I see them and I don't actually have this little energy. And so I figured, you know, if I if this collection of these gets big enough, maybe I would do a binder with just like, you know, like a mini portfolio, like one of the four card things, uh, four card pages. And, you know, have this one there to start it off because, you know, it is very fitting with like the, you know, the electricity in the background and yada yada. So probably not the most exciting bonus card of the day, but one I was I was pretty happy with my purchase of. But we gonna throw him here in a sleeve, keep him nice and safe, and uh, hopefully that little bit of curling will get out of him. I mean, it's by no means the worst. We've seen cards kind of warp and stuff over time, especially hollows. That one's not that bad, especially for being from 2012. Okay, not as old as I was originally thinking, but uh, right about there. I just realized that I did not sleeve any of our promo cards. <laughs> <laughs> Nor did I sleeve the hollows. Whoops. It's cool. I'll sleeve them later. It is now time for your end of video recap. Everything that was a reverse or better. We have the Victini, uh, Riley, Mantine, Shuppet. We have the special energy, the plasma energy. We have the uh, promo Empoleon, uh, Diancy. And we have our promo score bunny. I actually really love that card. Then, of course, we have our promo Infernape V here, who I will be sleeving, a Garatina V, and, of course, just by far and away our best pull. Very happy to have this all cabu. 
I'm happy that in, over the, the last, what is it, two videos, I've pulled three trainer, uh, full art trainers, which is amazing because my trainer, like full art trainer collection is honestly kind of depressing compared to all of my others. I seem to have really bad luck at pulling them. There are some nice ones, like Lily's, Lily's Full Force is definitely a big one, but that one's Japanese, so does it really count? I mean, yeah, because their prices are pretty in line with ours. Either way, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel for videos just like this every single week, at least two, sometimes more, rarely less. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see all of y'all next time. Goodbye for now. Okay, I guess I need to sleeve these little suckers. Yeah, uh, for this end of video segment, instead of it being like a, you know, kind of interesting little discussion like we like to have sometimes, or just, you know, a little bit of behind the scenes stuff, you know, the usual things you guys th tend to get here. Y you're just gonna watch me sleeve cards. That's it. You're not gonna get anything else. Feel free to click off the video. I'm just sleeving the cards that I failed to sleeve earlier. I had that upside down, makes it harder to get them out. Because this little baggie that these sleeves come in likes to, uh, you know, it's like a self-stick, so you can reseal it. But all it really gets used for is sticking one of the sleeves down so I can't grab it and just being a nuisance. You know, if I was smarter and less lazy, I would just... God, I keep going for the sleeve, the sleeve that's stuck down. If, if I was smarter, I would probably, like, get some scissors and cut that little strip off. But, you know, I'm not. I'm just, uh... I'm just lazy. I don't want to do it, even though there are scissors <laughs> literally right next to me. Because whenever I film these videos, I never know if I'm going to need scissors or if I'm going to need a knife. So I just grab both. Neither of which were actually needed for this video. Because, uh, it's just a box. You just need your fingies to open it. Alright, our Infernape V is now sleeved. But because he is a V, he'll be getting a hard sleeve as well. Well, come on. He's about to be sleeved. Some of these take a little bit more effort to kind of roll the, the backing into. I freaking love these sleeves. Uh, oh, good, my camera's about to overheat. Very fitting for the video, I suppose, but uh, we are now done with our, our sleeving. Congratulations.